the son of Giovanni de Bicchi, Cosimo was raised with a classical education and was taught humble ideals, which he would later reject. Growing in wealth and power through his banking empire, Cosimo's patronage from wealthy and important men, including the Pope himself, grew the Medici coffers and their power in Florence. Cosimo grew so powerful in Florence that in 1431, in an attempt to oust the Medici's power, Ronaldo Albizzi led a coup, forcing the Medici from Florence. But the Medici would return within a year of their exile. Himself a patron of the arts, Cosimo de' Medici supported artists, sculptors, and architects such as Michael Lozzo, Andrea del Castagno, Donatello, and Brunelleschi. We'll come back to him later. Cosimo funded parties to search for ancient, forgotten documents through Christian lands and, with the Sultan's permission, in the East. Cosimo used these documents as the heart of his new library, the Laurentian, for which he hired copyists to compile or copy the works and to spread them through the universities. Coupled with this new literary dissemination, Cosimo drew an ecumenical council to Florence, where he fell in love with the works of Plato. And when he brought Greek back to Florence, the University of Florence followed suit. And everyone followed the suit of the University of Florence. And therefore, since Greek and Roman thought were the heart of the Renaissance, and Cosimo helped to make Greek more popular, Cosimo is one of the main founders of humanism. As previously stated, Cosimo also gave money to painters, sculptors, and architects to fund their projects. One of the most prominent of these artists was the architect Brunelleschi as he was given the work of the Duomo of the Florentine Cathedral in 1419 by Cosimo. Brunelleschi, and by extension Cosimo, remodeled and finished the church even though the finishing touches were added post-mortem by one of Brunelleschi's students according to Brunelleschi's specifications. Because of Cosimo's investiture in Brunelleschi's works, one of the most important cathedrals in Florence was completed, and with it brought a revitalized sense of awe to the people of both the Catholic Church who housed the priests and to the God who had inspired such beauty. <laughs> 